Here's what people were talking about at the Future of Work conference recently. How about generation why not? Having that attitude of why not? And that we need to be open to all possibilities because in the year 2020, the top 10 jobs, well, we don't even know what they are yet. They're yet to be designed, created or needed. But Moore's law is alive and well. This is the theory that processing power for computers doubles every two years. And we're looking at microprocessors the size of a little dimple on a golf ball. Tiny, the internet of things, how objects and animals or people have the ability to transfer data over a network is growing. Yet despite this, 99% of the world is still not connected. We're struggling with the memory size of our technology. It's increasing from byte to kilobyte, mega, giga, tera, beta, exa, zeta. And to make sense of all that data, we really need to be able to filter it, to be able to curate it so that we can grasp it, understand it and make use of it. We're now living in this era of the exponential where things are rapidly expanding and getting bigger and where dumb things are going to be intelligent. I mean, can you imagine your front door will be able to recognise you at the end of the day when you come home? Information is going to find you. And it sounds like science fiction, but it's actually science fact. And we're going to have to transform and adapt to this. Imagine eating 3D printed food or that in 2035, there are going to be more robots on the planet than people. Pretty freaky. But remember, this is not just about what we make but what we make possible. Not just what we make, but what we make possible. So we need to identify and balance out the benefits and the risks of what the future of work could look like. Think about what the future could be like with 3D printed food, with all of this data, things getting bigger, science, fact, and needing to transform and adapt. How are you preparing yourself? What are you doing now for the future of work?